New at 430, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is proposing broad changes to the state's liquor laws. Well, the goal here is to make it a lot easier for restaurants to get a license. Brandon Goldner is live in Haddonfield to explain what some of those new rules would be entailing. Brandon. Hey, Natasha and Siafa, we're going to do a little bit of a demonstration here. Let's pretend that this glass, little glass filled with beer, represents 1,000 people. So we have one, two, three glasses of beer, 3,000 people. Current New Jersey state law says that only one liquor license, this dark beer being the liquor license, only one liquor license for every 3,000 people in the state. Governor Murphy wants to change that and expand that so that more liquor licenses for more people. Essentially, he wants to pour out these old rules. After nearly a year and a half of work and paying $150,000, Trevor Vaughn, who owns Corinne's Place in Camden, is close to getting a liquor license for his restaurant. I'll be excited for just the opportunities of what we can be able to do for um, for the city. He's about to cross the finish line just as New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy proposes changes to the state's liquor laws to make it easier for restaurateurs like Vaughn to get licenses. Arguably, we should have gotten to this a long time ago. Vaughn has mixed feelings. It's a great opportunity for a lot of small businesses to be able to um, capitalize off of liquor sales, you know, which, which can help their business to grow. Yet given how New Jersey liquor licenses are in limited supply, he estimates one of his licenses in Jersey City is worth more than $400,000. I get offers every day for someone trying to buy it, but it concerns me to say, okay, when this happens, will that liquor license lose its value? Governor Murphy also proposes easing restrictions for breweries, allowing them to serve food and hold an unlimited number of off-site events. In general, I think it's fantastic that he's saying that we need to help the breweries function as small businesses and give them every tool in the toolbox at their disposal. Kings Road Brewery co-owner Bob Hokertle says changing the alcohol laws will benefit the state's economy. He wants to open a third location, but he can't in New Jersey. You're limited to two licenses, so we, we would have to look across the river to do that. Some of those rules that Governor Murphy is proposing, like that ratio between population and liquor license, that could take effect as early as January 2024 if it passes. Back to you all in the studio. Thank you very much, Brandon.